Hey, happy Wednesday. I just ate a salad. It is so freaking late. It's already like 930 and I just got to eat for the first time since, oh geez, four o'clock this afternoon. And then all I had, I had a little, a little bit of, I had a small stack of Ritz crackers like this big. It's been a crazy day. I've done a lot today. First, I wanted to tell you about these things that I found. I found these on Amazon. These are little copper compression. It's like a little elastic. It looks like a wristband, but it apparently it has like copper in it, which is supposed to fix everything according to the infomercials that they put out there. I saw these on Amazon and I thought I would try them. And I've been wearing them on both of my feet. Like you slip it over your foot and it goes over like near the arch or whatever. And so I've been wearing these. I just took one of them off to show you. I've been wearing them all day. And I don't want to jinx it, but my, my uh, foot with the, my fascist foot here with plantar fasciitis or whatever's wrong with it, it still hurts, but nowhere near as bad as it did before. Now I have been very careful, careful to not go barefooted. Because I find if I if I walk around barefooted too much, my feet really start to bother me, or my, my right foot does. Um, it, it really starts to hurt. So I've been very careful to keep shoes on all the time, you know, if at all possible, um, unless I'm asleep. So I try to keep shoes on all the time. And I just wearing these all day today, they really seemed to do something. I don't know, but it seemed to help. So copper compression. I don't know. I'm going to keep trying them. And tomorrow I do have an appointment to see about um, trying out some orthotics and some other stuff to see if there's anything else that could also help. I don't know. I'll try anything. So what did I do today? <laughs> I had an appointment with this company out of town. And all they do is uh, stone work, like countertops, backsplashes, like your fireplace, if you want to do stonework around your fireplace, they do that kind of stuff too. So I went there just to get an idea, like to do, to redo the countertops in my bathrooms. You know, do you do you have what I'm looking for? I know exactly what I'm looking for. I want quartz just like what I have on the countertops in the kitchen. So I took a picture of that and I went to this place to show them, like, do you have this? I know exactly what I want. I know the sinks I want, the faucets I want. I know you don't have to show me anything. I know exactly what I want. Do you, how much would it cost to get that done? That's what I wanted to know. So I get to this place this morning and I, I pull into, first of all, the building is just this square and it has a door on one side, a door in the front and a door on the other side and two parking lots. There's a gravel parking lot on one side and a gravel parking lot on the other side. There are no signs telling you where to go. Nothing is evident. Nothing is obvious. So you pull up to this place, and I pulled into one park, the farther parking lot, because the first one I missed, I, I went right past it because I wasn't paying attention. So I pulled into this one, but they had like a bunch of forklifts, and they were moving around big slabs, and there was really nowhere to park over there anyway. So I asked one guy on a forklift, where should I park? And he he just sort of shrugged and just motored off on his little forklift, like, ah, ah, okay, thank you. So I, I came out of that parking lot, went, went back and went in the first parking lot, and I parked there, and I'm looking at the building like, where do you go in? Where is the entrance to this stupid building? So I thought, well, there's a door right there. I'm going to go in that door. I don't know where else to go. There are three doors. And there's nothing that indicates that you go in one or the other. It, nothing. Literally nothing. So, so I walked up to the door. And I looked in. Because it was like a glass door. And it, was, it looked like a little kitchenette. Like a little kitchen. And I thought, do I go in here? So I, I thought, that doesn't look right. That doesn't look like a place where I should go in. So I walked around to the front. And there was another door, but it seemed to lead into like cubicles and stuff, and it was locked. And I said, screw this. I just went back to the, where my car was parked. I thought, I'm walking through their damn kitchenette. If you don't like it, you can label your shit better. So I walked in, and this, this lady was coming around the corner, and I said, oh, sorry, you know, I, I didn't know. Is it okay if I came in through here? And she goes, well, not really, but you're already here, so... 
Yeah, not really. Um, that's not where customers are supposed to come in. I said, you have no signs indicating where anybody should come in. She said, oh, well, customers don't come in this way. Um, you should have come in on the other side of the building. I said, well, there was nowhere over there to park. She said, well, you could have walked around. I said, I had no reason to think that it would matter. She said, well, you're here now. Can I help you? I, at that moment, I literally just about turned on my heel and just walked out like, can you help me? No, you can't. No, my money and I are going elsewhere. Bye. Total bitch. Like, you don't have to be snotty about it. This building is stupid. You don't have any signs. Like, you're supposed to just know. No, you go to the other door. Obviously. No, it's not obvious. There's nothing obvious about this place. So, I told her I had an appointment to talk to somebody about getting my vanity countertops done. Oh, yes. So, she takes me over to this lady. And the lady that helped me was actually very nice. She was very nice and was very helpful. Um, and I looked at everything they had to offer. I said, here's a picture of what I want. Here are my measurements. Here's what I want to do. And she said, yeah, we don't have that exact uh, quartz. We don't, we can't get that. We don't have it. But we do have some others that you might like that are kind of similar. So I went out in the, the, the outdoor place where they store all their rock and everything. And I found a couple that were kind of close, but you know when you really have your heart set on like something specific? Like, yeah, I mean, it's close, but it's no, that's not it. That's not it. I don't want that. It's nice. I mean, it's it's nice. I'm not putting down your 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 rock slabs, but it's not it's not that's not the one. That's not the one I want. The one I want is it's quartz with kind of a a milky white color with the veins of brown in it. That's what I want. And they had one that was kind of similar. And I said, "Well, that one is kind of similar." I forget what it was. They have different names for all these different rocks, right? So I picked this one. I said, that is actually not bad. It's pretty close. And she just kind of laughed. She said, oh, no. I said, what? She said, this is the most expensive piece of rock out here. I said, of course it is. Of course it is. Because that's what always happens. Every time I find something I like, it's, it's always the most expensive of whatever. I have a knack for that somehow. Damn it. I said, well, can I just get an estimate for this one? Because this one is the closest to what I want. I don't really see anything else that's close to what I want. This is kind of close. But I'm thinking in my mind, but it's still, that's not it. That's not, that's not my rock. That's not it. But I said, yeah, just go ahead and get an estimate anyway. So we went back inside and she ran all the, they put in all the information and everything and, you know, picked out the sinks and the faucets and the blah, blah, blah. Do you need this? Do you need that? Da, 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 da. So she asked me, do you need us to remove the old countertops? I said, yes, I'm not, I'm not trying to remove shit from my house. I would end up accidentally knocking the house down because I'm not good at stuff like that. Yes, I would need you to remove the old countertops. Do you need us to do the plumbing to put in your faucet and stuff? Yes, I want you to do that. I'm no plumber. And maybe it would, I don't know if it would be cheaper to have y'all do it or somebody else, but it would be more convenient if y'all would do it. Okay. So we figure that into the price. Ba, 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 ba. Tick, 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 tick. And I'm sitting there. <laughs> and in my mind, I'm going, how much, Mary, how much, just play a game. How much do you think all this is going to cost? Like, it's like the price is right. How much do you, how much for this showcase here, contestant? I guessed if I wanted to get all three done, I'm sitting here thinking, okay, I'll, you know, remove the stuff, do the plumbing, sinks, faucets, countertops, everything. I'm thinking $3,700 to $4,000. I'm going to guess somewhere in there. No, no, because... The rock I wanted was the most expensive rock that they had. Yes, and not only was it the most expensive, they didn't have enough of it, and then they were going to have to special order the shit, and they didn't know how long it would even take to get enough to do everything. Like, great. But the whole time I'm thinking, I don't really, I don't really want it anyway. But I mean, I, I would like to know how much it would be. Now, keep in mind, and she kept saying, she kept saying while she was running the numbers, now keep in mind, this is the most expensive rock we have. 
just just keep that in. I'm just I'm just trying. I'm like, what are you preparing me for? What number are you about to give me? Just keep in mind, it's the most expensive one. We do have less expensive options. Like, I don't want the other ones, though. They're not what I want. I just won't do it if I can't get what I want. Because every time I look at it, I'm going to be unhappy with it. Now, keep in mind, it's the most expensive. I Just give it to me. Just rip the Band-Aid off. What's the number? $5,500. $5,500. Half of it due up front. I said, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know about that. Let me take a printout. You know, just if I could please just have a copy of the estimate. I'll think about it, and we'll see. And if you ever to ask my kids, if I ever say we'll see, that's a no. That's no. Never. Whatever it is, it's never going to happen. Never. Not in a month of Sundays will it ever happen. If I say we'll see, that's a no. So I thanked her for her time and, you know, all of her trouble helping me, you know, go through all that. And she was very nice. So I left um, and I went by a local Walmart to see if their nail polish, there was a Walmart not far away. So I thought, let's go look at the nail polish. I never come here. It was a no-go. This Walmart has, some of the Walmarts have these security cameras that make these noises every five to 10 seconds. Bling! If I had to work there, I would go insane having to listen to that every five to ten, every time five to ten seconds, those cameras make a noise. I think it's where they're, it's like to get your attention or something, or they, it detects movement. And it was, there was one right above the nail polish and it kept going off the entire time I was there. So I, no. the nail polish was labeled. I said, there's no way in hell I can make a video in here with that noise constantly going off. So it was a no. Most of the Walmart nail polish sections don't work for one reason or another. A lot of them have those noisy security cameras or the music is too loud or the nail polish isn't labeled or any combination of those things. So I can't organize nail polish there. So I headed back home. I had some, I had to finish up some work. So I thought, let me go home. I'll do some of my work. And all the way home, I was thinking, you know, you know who has the quartz that I want? I'm not having a company come back that did my kitchen counters. That was a freaking nightmare. No, I don't want them. But I thought, you know who would, you know where I first saw that quartz? Home Depot. Home Depot had it. I thought, you know what you should do? Finish up your work and just, just run up to Home Depot. Sorry, my son just came to tell me good night. He just got a shower. He's getting ready for bed. So, sorry. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So the Walmart, da, 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 da. yeah. So I thought, just go to Home Depot. Just go to Home Depot, see if they still have that quartz because you know they have the exact one you want. Go up there and uh, just talk to them. Just talk to the talk to those people. And so I got done with my work about three o'clock, and I thought I'm gonna run up. I'm gonna run up to Home Depot. So I went up there, and the same when I when I first was looking at countertop stuff, I went in there, and this lady was in there. It's a very nice lady. Does um, you know, helps people with this kind of stuff. And she was there and I talked to her and I said, I know exactly what I want. I know exactly what I want. She said, I like that. So we sat down and I told her what, they still have the quartz that I wanted. I said, I want that one right there. Boom. That one, that's the one. I want to do all three of my countertop, all my three of my bathrooms. I've decided to just go ahead and do all three so they'll match. And then I had my faucet picked out. We went and looked at some of the options they had, and I picked one that was basically what I wanted. It's actually the faucet and the sink at Home Depot that I saw were nicer than the ones I would have gotten from the company I went to first. They're they are better quality. They're they're much nicer. I picked out a um, is it Kohler sink K O H L is that right Kohler and a really nice faucet. It's like a Delta faucet, and it's it's really cool. So I said, I would, I would, if I were to do this, I said, now I'm just looking for an estimate. If I were to do them, and it, and this includes back, I need a four inch backsplash on all three of them as well. So I need back, backsplash, you know, and we, we went through everything, everything. And I know exactly how I want it to look. What would that cost me? So long story short, I said, here's what I want. Here's the faucet I want. Here are the sinks that I want. How much would this be? 
even with the more expensive faucets and the more expensive sinks, it was only $5,100. And I would get the countertop, that, the exact countertop that I want for $400 less and better stuff. So I have agreed to do it. I did it. I went ahead and said, let's do it. Let's do it. Why not? So that's a thing that's going to happen at some point. Now, I know it's a big box store and people have had bad experiences having them install things and I get it. Oh, and the $5,100 also includes the removal of everything and they are going to be doing the, they're going to put in the new faucets for me too. So I won't have to hire anybody to do that like I had to do with the last company that did my kitchen. Um, people have had bad experiences, but you know what? When I went to have my kitchen done, I went to a company that all they do is rock counter like countertops and fireplaces that's all that's literally that's all they do they have one job that's their one thing and it was a freaking nightmare everything was a disaster it was horrible it was so bad that they offered to do my vanity downstairs for free and I said you're never setting foot in my house again I don't want you to ever come here again it's kind of like the siding people like it was so my experience with them was so bad I never wanted them to come back even to do it for free like I don't even want you to do it for free I don't, because I can only imagine what kind of a Poseidon adventure that would turn into. No, I don't want you to do that. Thank you, but no thank you. So They did offer to do that, and I turned them down like, no thank you. I don't want you doing anything else in my house. It was horrible. It was a horrible experience. Um, so I'm going to give them a try. They have to come out and take the official measurements and everything, and then we'll be on the road. Or we'll we'll be on the way. I went ahead and took, brought my sinks home, so I now have four sinks in boxes sitting in my dining room, and they only had one of the faucets. I paid for all four. No, I think I only paid for one. They have ordered the other three, and I think I have to pay for them when they come in. So I have because I have two sinks in here. And I have one in each of the other bathrooms, so I have four sinks total. So I have my sinks sitting in boxes downstairs and the one faucet sitting down there. So yay, I'm excited. I think it's going to look good. But I tell you, if you've priced any home improvement projects in the last six months or a year, oh, they've gone way up. It's gone way up. Like everything, everything is more expensive now. So I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go ahead and do it. I'm going to go for it. I've already paid for it, so can't wait to see how this goes. I, it may be horrible. It may be truly horrible, but, and I don't dare say this out loud. I'll jinx it. It can't, I'm going to say it. It can't possibly be any worse than the experience I had with the kitchen. I may be laughing about that six months from now or three months from now or whenever they get it done. I don't know. So, yeah, so I, I'm excited. Anyway, that's that's going to be coming up. We'll be getting the countertops redone. So I'm happy about that. Yay! So I, I hate to run, but I have to take a shower. i got to get a shower. Um, I was going to try to get another video done tonight, but I'm really tired because it was really nice, though, to be able to wear these all day. And I could go to an exercise class and stand in there for an hour and do stuff, and my feet didn't weren't killing me by the end of it and then I came home and mowed the front yard and my my feet actually don't feel too bad they really my my right foot is not really bothering me it hurts a little bit but nowhere near as bad as it has been and uh so but yeah I do have an appointment tomorrow to see about trying some different options to see if I can make them better help my poor fascist foot um, oh yeah, yesterday, damn, my foot was hurting so bad yesterday. I had to choose, like I was going to go to an exercise class and I thought I literally, I'm going to have to pick. I can either mow the backyard or I can go to a class. Plus it's getting dark earlier now and what I'm running into like today, when I get back from a class, if I don't get home until seven, it's already getting dark. And by the time I get done mowing, it's dark. I mean, it's basically dark outside sucks man we're getting into the shorter days then you have that little period 
the period of time it's on over in December where it just seems like it's just dark all the time. It's daylight for about five minutes and it's dark when you get up. It's dark when you get home. It's, you know, it's just, I get depressed. I get so depressed when it's like that. It sucks. But I guess it's just part of life. It makes me appreciate the longer days more, I guess. So, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and get my shower. I hope you've had a wonderful Wednesday. I'm happy about getting my countertops done. I mean, yeah, it's it's going to cost more than I thought it would cost. I mean, I was thinking like 3700 to 4000 but when you factor in like the plumbing, the removal of the old stuff, uh, the faucets, the sinks, you know, it's you're not just paying for the rock. You're paying for the rock, the installation, the bits and pieces, you know, there's and the backsplash too. On all all three of them need a backsplash. So it's it's expensive. I mean it's I get it. I underestimated it. And hell, maybe a year ago it would have been thirty seven hundred. I don't know. Because I didn't price this shitty area. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm doing it. I decided to go for it. I think it's going to look really good, so I'm excited. So anyway, thank you so much for being here. I hope you liked the Walmart video. I enjoyed doing that. I really enjoyed looking at all the cleaning stuff. I'm thinking about, I have a good problem. I meant to mention this. I have a, I have a great problem, but it is kind of a problem. I've been to several stores around here in the last week or two. There are so many stores here who have so much cool Halloween stuff and fall stuff, and even Christmas stuff, and I want to walk around and show it, show you all of it, but there's so much. I mean, there are so many stores. I would probably get burnt out on it myself, and I think a lot of other people would be like, why is she posting another video? Is that all she does anymore? She just walks through stores? Damn. I don't even know if I could get to all of them. There's a bunch, and they all have different stuff, and I want to show it to you. But I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to pick and choose. I I can't do them all. But we're gonna be looking at we're gonna be looking at some more Halloween stuff. I just have to decide which stores to go to because there are so many and they all have neat stuff. But I can't I can't do them all. There there are too many and I don't I don't have enough days to do it. And and I I do kind of get burnt out on it after a while. Like I don't really want to do that again. <laughs> I want to go to PetSmart. That's another one I want to do. I want to do a walkthrough in PetSmart. I did one a long time ago, but I want to do another one. I want to do that. Um, yeah, and I, so my problem is I have there are so many neat stores who have so much cool stuff that I want to show you all of it. But I I'm gonna to have to pick which I'm gonna to have to just try to pick the best ones to show you. So, but that's coming up. I'm gonna be doing that. And I have a ton of beauty boxes stacked up that I need to get to. I need to do some beauty box videos. I was kind of thinking about doing a harvest video one day. I don't know what I would do. I've thought about several things. And uh, I want to do a charity video. I just, oh, God, charity wears me out, man. Charity is, just, God, she's a, uh, she's a lot. And I just have, I don't have the energy for her. I do not have, I don't have the strength to do that. She wears me out. Oh, my God. Of course she does. Carl's the easiest one. I just put on a hat and a wig and some glasses. And, hell, I don't even have to bother with makeup. I just, you know, I just let him talk. I mean, I don't care. He can just say whatever he wants to. And, and he just rambles. And every now and then he might notice something about you that's not appropriate. Because that's just what he does. I, don't, I can't control him. There's not a script or anything. I just let him talk. He's the easiest one. I used to think Lynette was the easiest. Hell, I think Carl's easier. He's a lot of fun. He's very funny. He means well. He just doesn't really think before he starts talking. <laughs> we all know somebody like that. They just say whatever comes to mind. And they don't realize what it sounds like. So anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up now for real. I hope you have had a great Wednesday. And I will see you again soon.